Well, the perils of working in a newsroom that doubles as a TV studio. Every once in a while, you're going to run into somebody in their pajamas. This is the News at 5 here on the ABC 10 Information Network. I'm Dale Shornack. Thank you for joining us. By the way, there's a good reason that Giacomo is in his pajamas right now because final exams are happening at colleges and universities around Northern California. For students, that means high stress and very little sleep. Young adults need eight to nine hours of sleep to function properly, according to the National Sleep Foundation. A 2016 survey of Dutch students found those with a chronic lack of sleep scored, on average, almost a point lower on their final exams and have an overall grade of a half point lower than those who got enough sleep. So that's where Giacomo and his jammies come into play. He found out about a nap map on the Sac State campus, and he went to check it out. This could perhaps be the most important time of the year for college students. The letter they get on their final test, project, or presentation could be what stands in the way of a diploma. That's why hygiene's so important this time of year. Sleep hygiene, that is. So when I saw this nap map put together by the student newspaper at Sacramento State, I had to see if anyone was putting it to good use. So I put on my slippers and flannels, <sighs> headed to the corner of College Town Road and Hornet Drive to quiz students on the best spots to get some shut-eye. Do you know where I can, the best place is to take a nap on campus? Like a bench or something, I don't know. <laughs> some had excuses. I saw you about to fall asleep. Oh yeah, <laughs> just resting my head. Of course. Others were a bit more honest. You know where I can go take a nap? Uh, you can actually go take a nap at the terminal lounge. Best place to go? Yeah. Is that where you nap? Yeah, to be honest with you, like to get, <laughs> to get a break from school, yeah. You yeah. need a pillow? No. Taking a nap? I even found a few nappers, like Tyler Anderson. How often would you say you uh, take a power nap on campus? Uh, it hasn't been for a while, actually. Uh, you know, I don't know, maybe once, uh, once a week, maybe. We heard the library was a napping haven. So we went on over. I thought you could use a lullaby and a pillow. That's where I found Gino Platina, a staffer who likes to take naps on his hour-long lunch break. I have a four-year-old oh, autistic geez. son. Yes, a so bit of work for you there. he's awake most of the night. Last night he was up at 2.30 in the morning, so. How does it feel when you wake up from your nap at the end of the day, or at the end of your nap? And uh, You're more refreshed. You actually can get back to your work and do what you need to do. An awful lot of these nappers told me it helped to get them through the day. Like, if I take a 15 or 30 minute nap, I feel a lot more energized. I wanted to get to the bottom of this, so I went to the experts at the Campus Wellness Center. Sleep difficulties are one of the, actually the second most common reason for students to have a lower grade in a class. Or That's right. According to university data, sleep is the second most common reason for bad grades. Associate Director Reva Widdenberg of Campus Wellness tells me a power nap between 15 and 30 minutes is actually a good thing. Yeah, a power nap is one of the best ways to boost your productivity, your alertness. Um, sleep is essential. It's not about being lazy. It's about, you know, being well and practicing good self-care. And So you heard it, nap away. Just remember to set an alarm so you don't forget to get back to work. From the campus of Sacramento State University, I'm Giacomo Luca, ABC 10 News. Thank <laughs> you.